Well, right now I work at Twitter in San Francisco, so a day in my life starts with a big cycle ride down a big hill. And um, what I'm involved in really is helping to tell stories with the amazing amounts of Twitter data and looking at kind of really what works, what cool things do people do with Twitter and um, the data points around them. Um, I suppose it started really as my work at The Guardian. I wouldn't have thought I would end up in this world because I was not great at maths at school. Um, but I was working on the news desk. I've got a really strong background in news. And what we found was increasingly needed somebody who could just deal with the increasing amounts of data we were getting coming in. So I worked with the graphics team there on telling stories with the kind of data that we have visually. And that broadened out into the, um, the data blog which became um, a way for us to tell stories every day using the data that was around and in the news. I suppose I'm most excited about the fact that data just gives you ways to tell stories which just weren't possible before, so you can tell amazing stories of data that you couldn't have done a few years ago. So in the work that I did in The Guardian, we would you know, reveal truths about the way the world works through data, and I really like that. I like the, um, the insight it gives us into the way people think and behave. I suppose if I had to pick a project that I was really proud of, there were a few things, but the data journalism uh, project that probably comes number one is the data blog as a whole. Just you know, conceiving that, launching it at the right time was a real stroke of luck, but it was also it was the time when data journalism started to become a thing that we thought of as, as a possible future for journalism. And so that timing is really good. I'm really proud of that. But I'm also really proud of the work we did around the riots in England in 2011, and also the WikiLeaks stuff and the Olympics. I think those three projects for me are the, are the biggest and probably most important things I've done. My advice for somebody else on today, I mean, it's a bit presumptuous, isn't it? But I would say, you know, the most important thing is to be the person in the newsroom that does the jobs that other people don't want to do. It's really, really important, and often that includes data still. So you can be that person who's invaluable because you are the one person in the office who knows what the percentage change is. I think that's a pretty good place to be. What's the future hold for data journalism? I think it will only become more transparent, more available, more accessible for more and more people to do. More and more news organisations are realising every day this is what they should be getting involved in. And I think that it's in promoting a greater kind of openness and literacy in society as a whole, and that's got to be a good thing. Mm -hmm.